What do you got? He's just resting. He's meditating. He's doing his thing. All right, perfect. All right, ready? Looking good. Sure. Looking good, bro. All right, so I'm Lino. I'm gonna build your tranny today. And this is what we got going here. Show them what you got going here, bro. We got new empty case. Already studded. Everything's ready to go. New gear carrier. It's gonna go in there. We need no screen. First off, we need to weld this gear. So we press these hubs off. Grind the sides like this. And then originally they're pressed on. We're gonna press it back on and then we're gonna weld it so it doesn't slip on us. That way when you put some horsepower to it, it stays together. Now we're gonna go over to the welder. Do a surface on the face of it. Which is to ensure there's no burrs or when the weld sticks above the surface that it has on. Next we're gonna hone it, clean the surface inside. When you weld them, they tend to shrink up. And so if you were just to put it on your bearing, it would be tight. It's off easy, it doesn't want to pull the bearing and it's smooth, it's not sticky at all. So that's what we're looking for right there. So now we can see the inside. It has a nice home surface. Shine. Get a little more polish. Yeah. Beautiful. So we'll go through all of them and do that. We'll do second. First. This polishing, this is not just because MP and MP's here. This is, you guys no, do this every this, time, this every, every step. Wow. Every transmission I do this, I go through and I polish those. Yep. I'll take your shift rails uh -huh. and I'll clean those up and polish them so uh -huh. there's no burrs. Nice. So when you put it in the gear carrier, uh -huh. they slide really nice. Oh, there's beautiful. No, there's no drag on them. Yeah. That's awesome. And everything's nice and tight. Next, you got your dip here. MP Super Diff, IRS. Awesome. So we've got the ring gear on it already. Yep. We've gone through and cleaned up all the end gears because mm -hmm. they get a little burr on them. Mm -hmm. So we'll sand all the gears mm -hmm. and make sure that they smooth, they spin real oh. smooth. So when you go through, it's nice and quiet. Sounds like a Rolex. Yeah, that's, everything's that's awesome. clean. Do the same thing with the hat. Uh -huh. We take the end gear and clean up all the gears, Yep. all the teeth, make sure it's all clean. So the, the, the deburring and the cleaning I would think, okay, that's gonna, the box is gonna be smoother. You showed us how the shift rails are gonna move yes. through the carrier. Yes. So everything is gonna be just nice and smooth. Yes. But I would have to imagine there's gotta be some benefit in, in wear and longevity, right? Yeah, I just, they, over the years, they start to wear and they get uh -huh. a little burr on them. So okay. they'll make, it, make noise. Uh -huh. So what we're trying to do is just eliminate that noise. Yeah. Clean them up and make them last longer and make them quieter. Awesome, love it. So we're gonna set that on here. Everything spins, it's nice and quiet. Yep, love it. So here we go, your diff's all ready to go. We'll start out with putting some gear oil on it. So you don't want it to go together dry. So, that, you can set first gear on it. We take our one, two hub, put it on there and check the tolerance we have here. We want about 10 to 17 thousandths. Okay. So we have. And you just know that by just feel. By feel. Got it. Doing it for many years, uh -huh. you get the feel. So that's what we're looking for right there. Great. Next, we're going to put our retainer plate on. Okay. Our first gear. A little WD 40 on it. Put our sinker on it. Make sure your sinker oh, doesn't my. stick. Yeah. Nice that's... and smooth. Uh huh. I like that. Go. Lighter. Yep. I'm gonna put that on our one two hub. Line up your your hub with the notch there. Yep. Otherwise it won't work. Okay. 
Make sure it sticks in and does what it's supposed yep. to do. Doesn't pop off. Put that on. Spin it to make sure our synchro's set. And we're good there. Alright. I will take second here. Same thing. Put a little WD-40. Check our synchro. Make sure it's not binding and biting. Nice and smooth. Set that in the place. Set that in the place. Now we're bearing for that. A little oil on it. Take third gear. We've already polished that to make sure there's no burrs. Looks it's beautiful. nice and clean. Yeah. Set that in the place. Oh man. Make sure we got clearance there. Yep. Gear moves. It's got some back and some load there. We take our clip. Now there's different size clips, so you always want to make sure that you have the right size. You want to make sure it fits in the groove tight. If it's loose, you don't want it. Loose. That's bad. Bad. So make sure it's nice and tight. So it's going to rattle and then basically well, it'll, just it'll, too much space and stuff will start coming apart, right? Stuff will come apart. It'll be too much movement on third gear. Okay. It'll push it off and, and pop the spring. And then you start breaking stuff. So you want to make sure that's all the way in, all the way around. We take our spring for fourth gear. Check fourth gear, make sure it's clean, there's no marks in the teeth, mm -hmm. no wear. It's a nice, good German 89 fourth gear. We take our bearing raise. Oh. We just get a nice polish on it. That's awesome. I love all the attention that you're lavishing on us. But knowing that you do this for everybody. This is what I do on everyone, just That's to make awesome. sure that they're yeah. clean. Now we're going to put this in the press. Now there's a bevel on these clips too, so you want to make sure that the bevel is facing, the bevel's upwards, so it clips on the inside there and doesn't release and pop off. Because once again, you will have problems. There we go. It's all on. Everything's in the groove where it's supposed to be. It's nice and tight. Ready for some power. I like it. The main shaft, which we saw we polished yep. earlier. It's all clean, ready to go. We're going to put a hardened key in it. So that way it doesn't shear the key. Oil it. Synchro. Nice and smooth. Yep. Oh man. Put it on. Oh, oh man. New three-four slider. Yep. And I've cleaned up all the edges oh, wow. on these so that there's no burrs and yep. no nicks. So when you put it together, Everything's they just smooth slide smooth like butter. Yeah. Dogs in there. There and that spring there, nice and tight. So these go on a certain way. The bevel is going to go towards third gear. And there's also line up with that key that you're pressing in, right? And there's also a line down the center of that which oh. goes third gear side. Okay. So just for reference, you always want to put that bevel down and the line towards third. Nice and smooth. All right. You got some movement in there. Yep. That's what we're looking for. Install it. Make sure there's no metal shavings laying around. Blow it off. Now that's ready for fourth gear. All right. Do you do a lot of cooking at home? I feel like you'd be a I great do. chef. Do you? I do a lot okay. of cooking. I'm the one All that right. usually cooks, so. Nice. We split it, but I do okay. more of it. Nice and smooth. Take our wash. Put that on there. Make sure that we got some play. Wow. A little movement in there. 
That's what we're looking for right there. Beautiful. So that stack is ready and that stack is ready. Let's right. take your nose cone and your hockey stick. Yep. So we got a heavy duty hockey stick which got welded gussets in it. Mm. So when you're slamming gears or banging yep. them, it don't want to bend on you. Slide that through. Yeah. Nice and smooth, nice yeah. and tight. We'll set up a gear carrier, which I've already put in the springs. The springs are already installed. Great. It always helps to put a little heat when you're putting in bangs. You need to make sure that the dot, the hole, is lined up with the other bolt hole, because when it's not, it doesn't go in right. So always make sure that's right so you don't have to take it back apart. There we go, now we're lined up. Now we can put our bolt in. There we go. So now we're gonna put our rails in. Put a little grease in the holes. We're gonna set our detent balls in. Third gear here, or third and fourth fork. Same thing. Oh, your one, two rail. Yep. So we're not going to push that one through all the way. Okay. And then we're going to push, push it back down to where the, the holes are uh -huh. for your lockout pills. So now we're going to put the lockout pills in. Mm -hmm. and this is so you can't shift in the two gears at once. Got it. So we'll put that side in and then okay. we'll do the other side. So now when that's in, mm -hmm. First, yep. you can't shift into another gear. Got it. Without those, you'll have trouble. Okay. You don't want to be in two gears at once. No, no, that'd be bad. I know from experience. Unless you have two motors, maybe that would be. So now we're gonna take our reverse. Okay. And start assembling that. Uh huh. Put a little grease on it. Everything nice and smooth and happy. Yeah, the attention to detail, the, the handwork is, is really impressive, Lino. I, there's no doubt you've been doing this a long, long time. Yes. They gave me a hard time for, for it because I like to polish everything. Right. Oh, but darn. It makes for a nicer transmission. Yeah. And there we go. So that's all lined up. That's all lined up. Now that's, that's for your reverse. Yeah. Love it. Oh, so, man, that's great. what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pop this third and fourth back. Yep. Set that aside. Awesome. These two are ready to go together. So, we take our third and fourth fork. Uh huh. We're gonna take our gear carrier, slide it over the top. And I've already oiled the bearings, so that's where they're. They have lubrication in them and they're not dry. So what we're trying to do here is line up on the bottom with my fingers, yep. the fork coal mm -hmm. with the rail okay. so that it goes together. And all stays together like that. Right. That's Beautiful. in place. And these go on a certain way too with the bevel. Mm -hmm. so you want to make sure you feel the bevel and find it. Okay. Nice and tight, all in place. Set it just to make sure it's flush. Now, bolts in for it. Oh, man. Our one, two in. And That's this awesome. is a, a late five millimeter. Okay. Which is better, they're a little stronger. Okay, great. So we like you that. Don't bend your forks too, will hold up yeah. for when you're not power shifting. It's a 437, so we want about 35,000. Okay, so spot on. Spot on. Nice. You set that in place. That's ready. So then you have this, which is pretty beautiful. It looks like you can almost eat it, or it's just a big sundae that you just want to enjoy it and <laughs> have a great time with it. Set it in the jig here. Wasn't this in the Terminator? This looks like it's 
gonna shoot laser beams or something. No. No? It's, it's mine. All right. I'm the only one that has a jig like this. Oh, wow. Everybody, so you made this to make sure everything lines up correctly? I made it because I'm short <laughs> and it works perfect okay. for me. Okay, now I get it. And All right. And I can move it, I can turn it. Yep. Wow. If I wanted to do That's something, cool. yeah. I can put it on its side. Sure. And mess with stuff. That's brilliant. It's just make the work easy on you, yeah. right? Yeah. I love it. Make sure first and second gear is out of the way. And not. Did you build yourself a handle so you can spin all the gears all around? I did. Nice. It's one of the tools you have to make. Okay. So we're just going to make sure that it spins freely and first gear is not binding. We're going to start in the back on third and fourth. Can you hear, can you, viewers, can you hear how quiet? That is just beautiful. Nice oh, quiet man. German gears. Oh, beautiful. And I'm just looking for the feel and the sound. Yep. After doing it, you know what sound you're looking yep. for. Well, the engagement sounds spot on. Yeah. It goes in and it shifts back and forth real smooth. You just need a little bit of play on each side. And some movement in my fork. That feels good right there. So we're going to cinch that down. Okay. Beautiful. Nice and wow. That's, nice that's and spectacular. Love it. Nice and quiet. Oh yeah. Now we'll set up reverse. Okay. Sure, it doesn't hit on second gear, which is good. We're good there, we're good there. You have it adjusted too much when you pull it over, it'll just engage. So you don't want to be able to put a little pressure on it to be able to spin reverse without it hitting. It's always a good starting point. It's so. got to be close, but not too close. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. just a starting point to, yep. before we set it. Okay. And then we're going to tighten this arm. But you want to put a little pressure uh -huh. on the tail and the groove there. And just make sure it's as close as you can get it without yeah. touching. Got it. We just have a little movement in there. That spins nice and free. Yep. Doesn't bind on you. We got that tight. We're just gonna make sure that nothing's in the hitting right. Put it in neutral. And yep. then again, engage reverse. Okay. And then what we're looking for is that reverse is centered. Yep. On your one-two slider. Okay. Because that's how your reverse runs. Now it's jig, stacked, ready to go in the case. All right. It's exciting. Excuse me. One step closer. Awesome. You're going to build your case. You've got your bearing in. Your main shaft. You put our drain plugs in. Service them so that they're nice and flat. They look pretty. Yep. The rear shaft, which we've bead blasted. <laughs> Polish the bearing surface, clean the bearings, wow. new grease, nice and smooth. Perfect. New MP cases have a nice tight bore, so we have to heat them up. Alright, so that's not going in. No, it's nice and tight in there. Everything's lined up. There you go. Nice and smooth, no noise. Get set in. Keo collar on it.
smooth. A new spring, short arm. Yep. Make sure that seat's in. Yep. There we go. Put our spring. Make sure it doesn't bind and make sure everything's gonna stay in place. Now our case pretty much done. Nice JC supplied, empty. Billet, manufactured in beautiful Anaheim, California, right next door to Fullerton. Right around the corner. Yep. We check our shim on it. We're uh -huh. gonna start with a 20 on this side. Yep. That's just an old third gear. Yep. And that noise well, means home. it's yep. that noise means it's where it's supposed to be. Since we're building an IRS, I like to put the starter side on. Mm -hmm. It makes it a little easier. Okay. Put a seal, some silicone. Great. It's all German spec, it's all good and tight. Oh, very good. Now I'll put our engine hanger on it. So we're getting towards the home stretch, it feels like. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. All right. Okay. okay, so we're going to grease up the reverse shaft where the yep. reverse gear is going to ride. Okay. The one two rail is going to go through the case. Yep. Just a little grease in the bearing there. Make sure that there's no oil on the surface of it where we're going to seal. Starting to look like it's a transmission now. Uh -huh. For our retainer plate for the pinion. It's nice and tight. Spins nice and free. Put some grease on it so it's not dry on the new seal. Clip. Put that in, slide our coupler forward. Uh -huh. Screw our input into the main shaft. And we don't want it tight, we just want it close. So that way it has a little play in there. Yeah. If it's too tight, it'll shear it. So, let's slide that back. There we go. There we go. We're gonna paint it at the same time so we can see how our pattern looks. That way you make sure everything's set up correct with the shims that we put yep. in. Grease on our bearings. Just so nothing goes together dry. Everything can spin freely. Set that one in. Grease on that one. We'll put this in dry. Yep. Put our flanges on, give it a roll over and see how it feels. Yep. That way we can get our paint, mm -hmm. our grease around yep. there, check our pattern. Right. Now we're looking at our pattern here. Yep. You see we're coming straight across the middle. Yep. Just, that's what you want. You want it to come straight across the top of the tooth in the middle. If it was hitting late or early. Yeah, if it's hitting way up on the nose yep. on one side and way right. on the bottom. 
That's just going to wear that gear it's out. It's just going to wear it. Right? And, okay. and normally when you put a, a stock ring and pinion, you can use this, this, there's a standard for the, the shim for it, uh -huh. which for this 437 is 35, mm -hmm. 35 thousandths. So it's a nice looking pattern. And we've already set up the backlash, so we know we're good on the backlash here. I pre-checked it. Okay. So now we can put this back in. All right. And now it's going to live there. Now it's going to live there. Now it's got yep. a home. Now it's got a home. Welcome home. Bodie too. Always check stuff, make sure that when you put it together, it's you got no issues. And you can rock it back and forth. You can feel your backlash. Yep. How's it feel? It feels good, about seven to nine thousandths is what we're shooting for. Yep. It feels like we're at about eight. Would be a guess, but it's, it's it's got the right feel. Beautiful. Where our hockey stick's gonna ride. Yep. No scoring. Special tool. Another special tool. Awesome. Good. Good. Second. Third. Fourth. All right. Love it. If you clean, get rid of all the extra silicone. Yeah. So first off, we'll take some grease, put some grease in here. Where our seal's gonna go. Put our spacer in there, round side down. Put our seal. Seal installer. A new 930 flange. Beautiful. That won't be doing donuts or no, burnouts. No, never. No way, no, uh uh. It's just for looks. Yes. This needs to look tough. There we go. Put our clip on. Okay. Put that's locked in place. There we go. That one's ready. All we need to do is put a cap seal on it. All right. Other side. This side. Round side, flat side. Make sure the round side goes down. Yep. Seal. All that one needs is the cap seal and it's done. Perfect. So basically, that's what you get. There's your finished transmission. We'll go through the gears one more time. Yeah. <laughs> so, neutral, everything's smooth. Yep. First gear. Nice and quiet, everything's spinning like it's supposed to. Yep. Second gear. Third gear, fourth gear, and the reverse. There we go. Wow. Neutral. That's a gearbox. Make sure nothing's moving. There you go. Always check first after reverse to make yep. sure that the synchro is not sticking on it. Right. And that's it. So that's it. All right. That is a Rancho built transmission. We know that was awesome.
Thank you very much. You're welcome. Can't wait to put it into Thank our you. project. And Those not great. burnouts. No burnouts. No, no. Just street driving and granny shifting. That's right. There you go. All right. That's what a full empty transaxle looks like. That is what a transaxle guru looks like. Make sure and check us out. You're going to love it on YouTube. Go to mpus.com. Go to ranchotransaxle.com. Thanks for watching.